Julian played extremely well this year, and uh, I liked I liked watching Julian play last year. Last year, Julian had kind of a bump in the road a little bit. Okay, never could really find his stride last year. Um, there were some, you know, some issues when you're 13 or 14 years old and you're playing a competitive sport. All right, sometimes that weighs on you, and then all, then you have a coach who gets in your rear end from time to time, <laughs> and sometimes that weighs on you, okay? And sometimes you need to know how to deal with that stuff and move forward. And what I thought that Julian did between last year and this year is improve in that core category. Not only does he have good basketball skills, but his mental skills and his IQ for the game went way, way up this year. Um, he did a tremendous job for us, both on the defensive end and on the offensive end. He, he started the season with a broken wrist. So he had a cast in his arm during our tryouts. And, um, and I know that was bothering him the first couple of games, but Julian still had this tendency to take the ball to the basket. And he had this tendency to draw fouls from the defensive player that was supposed to stop him. So not only would he score the bucket, then he would go to the free throw line. He had one of the best free throw percentages on the team this year. He uh, he was number two on the team in field goal percentage. And that tells a lot because he plays guard. And you shoot more from the outside than you do the inside. So he was number two. He hit 46% of his shots that he took, which is a good number. That's almost one out of every two. He was... First on the team in steals, he had 28 steals this year. Found his way into a passing lane and got a good steal. He was number two on the team in points. He scored 134 points this year, which was almost eight points a game, which is a really good number. And he was.